Oh, for sale now, Vehicle Max, your beautiful 2007 Cadillac Escalade two-wheel drive, short wheel base. Short wheel base just means that it's not the long one or the pickup. Has only 44,000 original miles, has a clean title and a clean Carfax you can view right now for free at our website, VehicleMax.net. It's completely loaded up with factory navigation, factory power moonroof, factory DVD, backup camera, quad seating, power tailgate, has the 22-inch uh, chrome wheels with matching Bridgestone tires that are still in good shape, don't need to be replaced. Factory running boards, heated seats, uh, privacy glass, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. We are located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida. 33142 is our zip code. We are open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 30,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. Okay, one of the many options in this vehicle is a remote start. As long as the car is locked up, press this up here, the little circle, once and hold it. The turn signals will flash and the car will start right up. This is a real neat feature in the summer when it's nice and hot. As long as you had the air conditioning on when you last left the vehicle, when the car comes on, so with the AC and it'll cool down the car for you. Same thing in the winter, when it's nice and cold outside. As long as you had the heater on when you last left the vehicle, when the car comes on, so will the heater and when it reaches temperature, it'll warm up the car for you. When you're ready to drive off, you unlock the vehicle, stick the key in the ignition, open the switch and you're ready to drive. If you want to turn it off, you can just press here, you don't have to go up to the vehicle. Another option is the power tailgate. You can do it from the remote, from the inside of the car, or from the rear door handle as long as the car is unlocked. It has a little chime to, uh, that, that gives you a warning sound that's about to open and the tail lights will flash as well. To close it, you can close it right here with a remote or from the inside of the car. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get it started from the inside and I'll uh, show you the interior options. Before I sit down, let me show you the door panels. They're uh, light beige with a wood trimming and you have of course power windows, power door locks, screws control, tilt wheel, power folding mirrors with turn signal, um, memory seats for up to two drivers, dual power seat, power recliner and lumbar support on both sides, not just the driver. Got a factory power moonroof and I'll open up the, that for you in a minute. Navigation which I'll get going and the factory DVD which I'll get going as well. Again only 44,000 original miles. <coughs> Get it started first. Slide the seat back just a little bit. And we'll get the AC going. Okay. There we go. And we'll I'm gonna put it too high so you can hear me talk. Okay. Alright, let's get the moonroof open so we can get a little better lighting in here for the video. It's a one-touch moonroof, which means you don't have to hold the switch for the moonroof to open. It is a glass moonroof, it is tinted as you can see, but also has this hard cover you slide manually, which blocks out the sun completely. We'll leave it open. Uh, here are the uh, power tailgate switch I was talking to you about. You can open the power tailgate by pressing here, or you can disable it all together by putting on off here. That's the off position. That's a neutral position. If you push in here, the tailgate will open. These are power folding bucket middle row seats. We'll go ahead and fold one of them down so you can see how it works. This is to gain access into, uh, to gain access into the rear row. Okay, both sides do the same action. There's your navigation. Okay, and uh, let's see if we get the um, let's see if we get the DVD going back there. Okay, yes, we do have a DV in. It's a touch screen, as you can see, also. Now, as long as the car's in park, um, make sure there, there it goes, and let's lower the volume. As long as the car's in park, you can watch the movie that you did. The rear row passengers are watching on the on the um, overhead factory mounted DVD on the front navigation screen. But the car does have to be in park. Leave it there so you can see you're watching the same exact thing. 
okay? Now, what's the, once the car it gets taken out of park, you will not be able to see this. Now, I have heard that they sell these um, aftermarket units that you can like pretty much fool the vehicle to think it's still in park, so you can still watch the DVD up in the front here. I don't recommend it because it's kind of dangerous. You get distracted and you take your eyes off the road. Okay, when you put the vehicle in reverse, no matter what's on there, you're gonna get your uh, color backup camera. All right, and I'm gonna let's go ahead and back up to the vehicles in the rear so I can give you an idea how that works. We also have parking sensors. It's a full color camera. This is the outline of a rear bumper. Okay, there is our first and second set of warnings first set of warnings and you'll notice back there there's a little yellow light in that corner post over there that's our first warning let us know that we're approaching another vehicle or object pretty soon we'll come up to the second set of warnings and there it is okay and as you can see we got two little yellow lights we still got a little bit to go now the next warning will be the red and then you'll see how it turns in red color and now you got over there in that pose, the two yellows and the one red. It's very hard to see from here on the camera, but I assure you that's what you got. Once you're here, um, you still actually have a little room. You can see here, it's very accurate. I'm gonna back up some more. Okay, and that there shows you about to hit it and it starts flashing and flashing back there as well. Let's put it back in gear. And we'll pull forward. Eventually, this will turn back onto the uh, probably navigation is the last thing we had before the DVD. Okay. Uh, well, actually, we were here. If we want to see the navigation, press nav down here, and there's a navigation screen. If I put it in park, it'll stay on navigation screen unless I give it the command. I go down here to audio, and then over here now we got our, all our choices up here: AM to FM. You see, the DVD is already selected, and we'll leave it there for now. Okay, um, not only do we have uh, heated seats, this is the, let me see if I can get it to focus here. Maybe this side might be easier. The sun is not. Alright, this is to heat the entire seat, bottom and top, and you have three different levels of comfort. You'll see it come up here. That's high, medium, low, and off. And this is for the same thing, just for the backrest only. High, medium, low, enough and we also got the cool seats uh, and these uh, it blows cool air down your backside I'm sure you can see in the center here that uh, the seat and the, and the outside is like solid and the center here is perforated and that's where you're gonna feel the cool seat blowing same way three different levels of, um, of comfort high medium low enough we've got dual climate control as you can see right now both sides are at 60 I'm gonna go ahead and let's say make the passenger side 68 and as you can see it doesn't affect the driver's side in reality we really have triple climate control because the rear row passengers can control their own temperature okay um, power adjustable pedals uh, this is the feature that allows the pedals to move up or down about four to five inches completely independent of the driver's seat which helps out a lot when you got a real tall driver or a real short driver okay behind here is our uh, ashtray and as you can see it doesn't even look like it's been used matter of fact no cigarette lighter either Okay, this is uh, pops up into a cup holder. Uh, okay, so I was saying before, the car is only 44,745 miles. Keep an eye on the left hand dial, I'm going to rev the engine. And the reason I'm doing that is so you can see that the car is running and that there are no check engine light on, no airbag lights, no service engine soon, no maintenance zoom, nothing like that. Um, cars idling perfectly and there are no lights on whatsoever the only light that's on is a little green light that's our daytime running lights which can be disabled by pushing here to the left hand side here and you can turn them off that way all right okay um, power windows the two front ones are one touch and what that means is you don't have to hold the switch for the window to go down as you can see lower down the other one also one touch also on the uh, turn signals, I don't know if you can see, there's a, a signal there right on the mirror. Same thing on the passenger side. Okay. And uh, let's go ahead and, um, oh, let's go ahead and put, put the stereo on. FM. Actually, we do have XM. Let's see if it's active. 
Now, right now, it's on preview mode. To uh, get it activated, you'd have to um, uh, call this number here or go to SiriusXM.com. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's put some music. You can raise the volume here or lower it here. Here you can mute it. This here is to navigate about your preset stations and that would be the ones down here that you preset yourself. Okay. The source button is to move from AM to FM to XM to DVD to auxiliary to your time and so on. And this is your seek button over here to um, search about any uh, available uh, station. Okay. Uh, not only do we have heated seats, but we also have a heated steering wheel. Cruise control on this side. Uh, the steering wheel is uh, leather wrapped as well as uh, it's got the wood trimming and I'll pan around it nice and slow so you can see it's in great shape. Once again, let me remind you that we're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5 and always close on Sundays. Okay. Um, so the center console has two tier storage. Your top tier is up here for like smaller stuff and then this is for like a deeper storage down there with another cigarette lighter adapter right there. Okay, uh, we've got curtain side airbags here on the front post, the middle post, and another one on the um, rear post which I'll show you when we get back there. On the, uh, this, by the way, this is an auto dimming rear view mirror which means somebody puts their high beams on you, it darkens the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision. Right on the mirror, there's a uh, digital display for a compass and a temperature readout, which will let you uh, let you know that right now that we're pointing or heading in the east direction, and that it's 82 degrees outside. OnStar system. Let's go ahead and talk about the OnStar system for a minute. If you happen to get into a car accident and any of the airbags deploy, including the side airbags, it will send an immediate signal to the OnStar center to let them know you've been involved in an accident. They'll attempt to contact you through the car to make sure you're okay. If you do not respond within a reasonable amount of time, they'll dispatch emergency vehicles to come to your aid. If you uh, happen to uh, lock your keys inside your car, there's a number they provide you with. You call the number, identify yourself. Once they know it's you, they'll send an immediate signal to the car to get it open, which will save you a bunch of time and money having to wait for a locksmith and having to pay a locksmith. Also, if you're just plain old lost, you can press that blue on start button and they'll give you turn by turn directions until you arrive at your destination. The red button is for emergencies. You press that and they'll ask you what kind of emergencies you have or and uh, they'll have to tell you, uh, they'll let you know, they'll assist you with that. Uh, if you buy this vehicle, you get three free months worth of OnStar for a program that OnStar has going on that right now. Um, you get to, you, uh, you sign up for the subscription. If after three months you don't like it, you can go ahead and cancel it for a full refund. Okay. Um, at the end of the shifter, we have the uh, towing haul mode. This is in case you're going to tow a boat or a trailer. Okay, once you engage that, this little light down there will come on. As you can see, a little trailer, and it'll make the transmission shift a little differently to adjust for the extra cargo load. Okay, um, I just turn it off. Uh, I don't know if you can see in the shifter here the plus and minus sign. This vehicle does have a, um, a manual shifting mode, reverse, neutral, oops, I passed the neutral, drive. And that's how you're going to drive it 99% of the time. But if you um, want to use the manual shifting mode and you shift it one more to M, and you'll see a one. Um, hold on, let me put this down here. There we go. Okay. Then when you tap on the. Um, when you tap on the, uh, on the on the plus or minus here on the shifter, you'll. Um, You'll get to see, a matter of fact, this is what I was trying to get to. The lights were on here. Okay, so when you put it on the manual shifting mode, you'll see where it says there, manual shift. So when you tap on the plus, it shifts up, as you can see, all the way up to six. This is a six-speed automatic transmission. And to downshift, you press minus, you press on the minus sign, it'll downshift for you. If that doesn't interest you, just leave it in drive, and the automatic transmission will shift for you. Okay, ready to move on to the back. Let's go ahead and turn it off. Okay. Well, it left the lights on. All right. All right. Um, 
We have quad seating, I mean four captain chairs, two in the front, two in the middle, obviously I tilted that one. Uh, to gain access to the rear, the little guys can just walk in between to the full bench in the back. This is a seven passenger, two in the front, two in the middle, that makes four, and a full bench in the rear with over the shoulder seat belts for all passengers, so you can put three in the back, it's a total of seven. Here's the other curtain setter bag I was telling you about for the, um, for the third post. Um, you can also uh, make this, the, uh, these seats tumble forward by pressing on the switch here. You don't have to do it from up in the front. Okay, not only do we have heated seats up in the front, but as you can see right here, the middle row buckets are also, see, uh, also heated. The middle row passengers can control the uh, fan speed, the airflow, and the temperature right from here. So this is why I told you it's got triple climate control. Also, they can control the stereo down here and just jacks for the headphones. This is a cigarette light adapter so you can power up. It's missing the little door there, but we have already ordered that and we'll have that replaced by the time the vehicle gets delivered. Uh, this is your video input, so if you could power through here, you can watch it on this screen up here, which is a factory roof-mounted Panasonic unit. This pops out into a cup holder. Okay. Right rear door panel, sorry, left rear door panel, same shape, uh, same, uh, same way, you're beige with the wood trimming over here. This vehicle is equipped with a child lock protection. How it works is the following. You stick your key in here and twist this to the left. What that does is that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you got kids and you don't want to be able to open the door from the inside. Once you engage that, the only handle that's going to work is the outer handle. To re-engage for adult passengers or bigger kids, just twist back over to the right and this handle will start working again. Okay, by the way, all the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. This is just a little burp poop there. Um, they're not cracked or scuffed in any way, they're nice and clear. Uh, these are the parking sensors that were beeping before. There's two on each side of the rear bumper. Behind this beauty cover is your class 3 heavy duty tone package. This is the camera that we're looking out of. Rear wiper, rear window defroster. To open the tailgate, you can do it from the switch up in the front, from the remote, or right in here. There's a switch, it's hard to see because of the angle. You press in here. As long as the car is unlocked, the tailgate will come, will come open. The third row seat is what we call a 50-50 bench. Okay, uh, these two seats are independent of each other. If you want to go, want to go into cargo mode, you would flip this lever up and uh, that will um, release it. I'm sorry, you, you flip this lever up first, this, this, uh, the back row will go down and you flip this one up and you can prop them up, up to the back of the middle row seats. You can also remove them all together one or one side or not the other so, so you could you could leave this one up for somebody to sit there and you could flip this one up or remove it so they're independent of each other okay close the tailgate right up here right rear tail light perfect shape no cracks no scuff nothing like that no dings or dents no major scratches or touch-ups of any kind right rear door panel same way of course we got the, cho uh, the child, uh, child lock protection on both sides wood trimming. Okay, uh, once the seat is brought up, to bring it down you do it manually. All it does is tumble forward on power. So as you can see with the camera in my hand and one hand I can do that very easily. So like a 10 year old can do it with not a problem. Again, if, you, if they're little they can just walk in between, you know. That's mostly for like adult passengers and larger kids so they don't have to like hunch over so much. Right front door panel, same way. I'm sure by now you would notice that none of the speaker covers are cracked. Okay, power seat, power recliner, and lumbar support, not just in the driver's seat, but also on the passenger. Let me pan over the seating area so you can see it's in great shape. Okay, um, it's pretty much going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to talk to you about financing for a moment. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. If you live a long distance away and you're concerned about the financing or you want us to go ahead and get you pre-approved, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net. Right on the home page, you see a silver tab that says apply for credit. Click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.